sea stars and most of their relatives of the echinoderms are bottom dwellers. So they are dependent on having a good stick to the substratum to stay there in order to not be washed away, but also for locomotion to walk. This sunflower sea star can walk up to one meter per minute, which is actually quite fast if you consider how tiny their feet are. The feet of echinoderms don't work like ours. They work like suckers and they are operated by a hydraulic organ, the water vascular system. Let's have a look how this hydraulic organ works. This is the inner of a sea star with the ring canal connected to the radial canals which stretch into each arm. The ring canal has a madreporite that is a sieve-like structure through which sea water is filtered into the inner system of this hydraulic organ. Each radial canal is connected to so-called ampullae, little balloon-like structures which extend with the slender part into the tube feet. The relation between the radial canals and the ampullae we can better see in a cross section. The yellow is muscle, interior organs and other stuff which we are not interested in here. The radial canal we are interested in as well as the ampullae. The ampullae is to extend all the way into the tube feed and due to the connections between the radial canal and the ampullae, they are all filled with the fluid from the water vascular system. Muscle contraction squeezes water from the ampullae into the extensions into the feed, which by that means are extended. Relaxation of the muscles leads to a retraction of the feet. All echinoderms have the hydraulic water vascular system with the sucker feet for locomotion or other specialized hydraulic organs, which are used to grab and transport food or for burrow building. 